In this video, I'm testing if spray lubing is as good or better than normal lubing. I'll also be testing it with my friends and see if they're able to tell the difference. This is the one dude. Also, according to YouTube statistics, a huge percent of you guys are not gonna continue watching this video if I keep this going. I've been watching a lot of Wildcat videos lately and I've actually been seeing a lot of spray lubing videos. And that got me really interested. So what spray lubing actually is, is actually spraying lube into the switches without desoldering them off the board. So it makes it super quick, you can just do it on the board. You'll use a type of aerosol spray lube which then sprays straight into the housing of a switch. It's said that it's a lot faster and easier than traditional lubing. And me being the laziest person I know, postponed the video two months later, so... Yeah, we're two months late. But to have a fair comparison about spray lubing, I got my friends at Banggood's to help me out. So I really like to thank Banggood's for sending me down these keyboards. They sent down three RK61s. They're probably the best bang for your buck in terms of cheap, good looking mechanical keyboards. What I'm going to be doing with them is keep one as a control, which is stock and no loop added. Next, I'm going to loop one traditionally by using a brush and loop. And for the last keyboard, I'll be using the new technique, spray lubing. To start us off, I'm going to be traditionally lubing this keyboard. So first, we gotta start off by taking off the keycaps. After which, I'll be unscrewing the keyboard. I'm actually using this thing called a WOW stick sent by Banggood's and it's actually pretty cool as an electric screwdriver. After which, you have to desolder the switches off the board. This process takes about an hour to do. And after which, you have to open every single switch and lube it manually. This is the most tedious part and it will take about 2 hours to do. And once you're done lubing every single switch, you just put it back onto the board and solder it into place. I actually did a full video on this keyboard and you might want to check it out. <laughs> it's your A key. <laughs> now once that's done, put everything back into place and you are done. But honestly, do you really want to spend hours lubing everything and creating a mess like this? No! And that's where spray lubing comes in! So what you need for spray lubing is a pair of gloves, the keyboard itself, some paper towels, and super lube. Now make sure you put on the gloves because some people forget this step. So the step's pretty simple, put the paper towel close to the switch, press it down a bit, and spray. Okay, we may have sprayed a bit too much. Okay, let's try this again. Press the switch a bit down, spray it into the housing this time, and a gentle spray. Yeah, that's, that's a bit better. Well, I'm glad we instantly forgot how to spray. Ooh. Hey, this one has to be the best. Even when you die, this one... <laughs> <laughs> After you're done, make sure you dry it as hard as possible because you might have accidentally sprayed it everywhere. And yeah, the whole process only took 9 minutes, which is a lot faster than lubing. So now here's the sound comparison test. What I can say off the bat is that Holy shit Dude, this sounds leagues better than normal traditional lubing But let's pass these keyboards on to my friends Louis and Jasper and let's see what they think about it So they don't know which keyboard is which and I'm going to be testing them to see if they can identify which was spray lube Alright, so you, you may test the keyboards What the? Right? <laughs> Alright, sit down. Alright, just work. Just a disclaimer, I'm, I'm probably gonna test them all out. <laughs> yup, these browns. <laughs> yup. <laughs> I think, maybe. 
Okay, so out of three keyboards you tested, which one do you think is spray loop? Which one do you think was manual labor? Let's do the stock one first. Okay, and which one is the stock? Keyboard, I think it's this one. Yeah, I don't think it's that one. Alright, alright, cool, cool. Which one do you think was manual farm loot? I honestly think it's that one. Yeah, I think it's that one. So that leaves this one as spray loop, right? Yeah. Right. Yep. Wow, you guys are pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> when I felt it was your turn, go hide. Okay, I go hide. <laughs> I go hide. Okay. okay. I'm on my own game show. <laughs> <laughs> this definitely stop. <laughs> this is so stop. This feels really good. I know this feels good. Crytox? Then there are spray loop. Spray loop, spray loop, Crytox. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> so, all seems good so far, right? Well, this is where I reveal to you guys the unreliability of this keyboard. W. Is this W? Oh, it missed Y. We actually did a test of this keyboard before I dried it out and Boy, it was bad. It was as if registering key presses on this keyboard is optional. And after doing a bit of research, I think we might have overdone it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. But this also shows you that do this at your own risk. I'm not at fault. Please don't do this because of me. Other than that, this experiment was a really fun experiment to do and it's been three days since I did this keyboard and it's starting to register presses again, so... I think what might have happened was that too much loop went into the contact and it doesn't make contact anymore. Because if you press hard, it works. If you press softly, it doesn't contact, so... Other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. Once again, thank you to Banggood for sending me the three keyboards and the wow stick. All the stuff that I use in this video will be linked down below. And other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. Like this video if you want more keyboard experiments. Share this video as hard as I spray loop my keyboard. And I'll see y'all in another video.